this cable, I want to give you a, a little of um, uh, what it looks like when it goes through the process. This is this is what the that's what the cable looks like the core. You get the plastic housing, or you have also they have a, 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 a fiber. Right. So what you're so seeing oh, here. What's the what's the the, the, the core build? What's the this? So this is a, this is a cross section of the typical plenumerated half inch coax cable that's used to distribute the arc to the antennas. Um, so it's a coaxial. So you've got an outer conductor, then you've got an inner conductor. So it's kind of the colors make it odd, but that center, that's an aluminum uh, solid rod that's copper clad. You then have a, a plastic spacer that keeps that in the middle. For coax to operate, that center conductor has to be centered in the middle. If it sags off to one side or that those dimensions change, it no longer transmits RF. It just becomes a lump of aluminum cable, aluminum and copper. You know, it's no longer a piece of coax. So okay. look what happens after a fire. Okay, once it gets heat up, all, all I did is I, I took a regular soldering torch and I heated up the pipe maybe for maybe four or five minutes. And this is what it came out as the, uh, the jacket was burned. And, and then what happens is the plastic areas, they melt, it shorts out, causes a, a short, Does it have any back feed um, uh, properties? In other words, with, with this short, does it go both ways? Where's that short process? Yeah, basically, when a, when a co coaxial cable is no longer um, uh, dimensionally stable, uh, it, it basically no longer sends RF through. Uh, so if it doesn't send it through, the only way it can do it is send it back. Now, it's a low enough power, it doesn't really hurt anything. But the crux of the problem is, if I'm expecting RF signal to come out of that antenna and the cable in the pathway got heated up, even if it's in conduit, there's <coughs> more RF coming out of that antenna. So that's why we talk about the two hour pathways on those critical pathways. Because um, if I lose an antenna or you know some antennas, it's not good, but there's no there's no technology that can address this now because there's no such thing as a flame-proof cable. Um, like I said, we got two people, two companies working on it. No one has done it yet. Uh, now there is two-hour rated, you know, CI rated um, fiber. So in a fiber DAS, that's a possibility. So, so what we're talking about right here. Pathways about to 